Last August, we launched a listening exercise in which we promised the people of Tameside and Glossop that we would hear what they had to say to make the hospital better. Hundreds of you responded to that listening exercise, patients, staff, outside organisations, interested parties. We've been through every single one of those responses and it has been a remarkable exercise. Tameside Listens has been the biggest listening exercise in Tameside Hospital's history. And we think it's one of the most innovative listening exercises ever undertaken by an NHS hospital. Taking place over a six month period, we used a whole range of channels, traditional and new, to ask local people, patients, staff, stakeholders, what we can do to improve the services that Tameside Hospital provides and the care that we deliver. We didn't just ask, what do you think about the hospital? That's been asked lots of times. But we actually asked, how can we do better? And we asked people, not merely for their opinions, but for their ideas. We received over 500 responses. And nearly four out of five of those responses contained a suggested action. Something we could do to make things better. So what were the people's priorities? Where are the areas where they wanted to give us their ideas about great new ways to do things? Well, people cared about compassion, care, quality and people. We worked hard to analyse the responses and group them into suggested areas of action. And here are the top 10 areas of importance for local people and local stakeholders. Over half of the responses that came through Tameside Listens were things that we could do immediately and are happy to do so, or things that we will now put into our future improvement plan. I'm really delighted to have come here today and found out about Tameside's Listens. It sounds like it's been a really, really exciting exercise to engage the local community in what they really want to see from their hospital. And particularly what I'm really impressed about is we've got lots of ways of gathering feedback from patients about the services that they've received and experienced, but what this exercise has done is just asked a simple question, how could we do better and let the people talk? So I'm really excited about what I've heard at Tameside today. Um, a public engagement exercise that engages with its communities, with its local voluntary organisations and with its staff to genuinely hear and act on what people are saying are sensible solutions to problems that people encounter in the way they use their local services. People have the power to change things and this is providing them with an opportunity and a vehicle to do that. As a foundation trust, Tameside has got 17,000 members who've all signed up and committed to be members of Tameside Foundation Trust and what Tameside Listens has done has really connected with those members in a way that they can then contribute to improving the, the services and support that Tameside offers. It's so important. People want to help and that this is offering them a way of getting involved and being able to help. So I was impressed in Tameside Listens with the numerous different channels that the uh, Trust has used to engage. So lots of use of social media, Twitter, Facebook, etc. But also, you know, more traditional methods of communicating and listening to people such as posting out uh, paper surveys for people to comment on. So there's been a wide wide range of ways that people can engage and give their views but also I'm really heartened to hear that once those views have been brought back into the hospital that they can now be combined with other sources of feedback so the friends and the family test, patient survey, staff survey, there's already things going on that the hospital's doing so Tameside Listens is really helping to bring all that together and give the hospital a really rich source of information about what its patients and staff think. Last August I promised that we would listen to patients from Tameside uh, with regards to the services we provide here for all our users. We've now done that and I really want to thank everybody for the time to participate and to provide feedback to us. We have now listened, uh, we will actually be agreeing the improvement programmes alongside all those suggestions that we've received and the feedback that we've received from all of you. So thank you once again because it's been really important that we have listened and we have taken on board the feedback that we've received. Thank you.